Using deep sleep is important for when you want to battery power your ESP32. One downside, however, is that during deep sleep, the main memory is powered down, so you lose everything that is stored in memory. That can be problematic if you want to keep track of some state while sleeping. Now, luckily, there is a tiny bit of memory that you can keep powered on during deep sleep, and that is called the RTC memory. How tiny is it? Well, you can only store 8 kilobytes of data in it, so depending on your use case, you might have to get creative to fit in your data. Now, to demonstrate how to use it, we will build a program that increments a counter every time we touch one of the touch pins, and afterwards we go straight into deep sleep. Here I already have some code set up with stuff from the previous videos. This code basically attaches a touch interrupt to one of the touch pins so that it can wake up the ESP32 and then it goes into deep sleep. Obviously, this is not very useful. What I now want to do is create a counter that we can increment. And normally I would write something like this, unsigned int counter equals zero. Then in the setup function, I can print out the counter to our serial monitor. So I can say serial.print counter equals, and then I will do another serial, but this time a print line, and then we will print counter plus plus. Plus plus is obviously to increment it. Now this code makes a lot of sense, but it will always print zero to the serial because the value of our counter is reset when we go into deep sleep. So this one always becomes zero when the ESP32 wakes up. To store this value in the RTC memory, the only thing we have to do is add something in front of it. We need to add RTC underscore data underscore attribute to it. And that's it. Our counter variable continues to work like any other variable. The only difference being the location where it's stored. So let's save this file and let's flash it to our board and see if it works. All right, let's open up the serial monitor. Let's attach it to the board and we can see counter equals zero going to deep sleep. Now behind the scenes, I've attached a wire to our touch pin zero so that I can touch it. And when I touch the wire, the ESP32 wakes up and you can see that it has now incremented our counter and counter is now equal to one. Touch it again, wakes up again, and the counter is increased once more. The reason that this works is because we use the RTC memory and the ESP32 keeps that powered on during deep sleep. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to support the channel.